Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. The Navy is currently polling 7,000 randomly selected sailors on communication as part of its quick poll program. The poll is designed to let Navy leaders know the best way to get information to sailors. Participation in the survey is voluntary, but highly encouraged. Go to npc.navy.mil for more information. Stress is a normal part of everyday life, but sometimes it can become overwhelming. To help reduce stress, there are many resources sailors can use. Well, you can always ask for support from your families. They're your first resource, and your friends, and your shipmates. You can also go to the chaplains, to medical personnel, and any mental health professionals. They can provide additional assets if your stress becomes a little bit more than you're normally used to. Military OneSource is another option available to sailors. One of the best new available resources is Military OneSource that has a website that you can log on to and you can email and ask them questions. They have multiple topics and they also have a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week toll-free hotline that you can call at 1-800-342-9647. For more information, go to MilitaryOneSource.com. USS Fort McHenry and High Speed Vessel 2 Swift have visited West and Central African nations as part of Africa Partnership Station. Sailors conducted visit, board, search, and seizure training. Africa Partnership and Project Hand Class also donated medical supplies to local hospitals. The APS deployment, part of the Navy's Global Maritime Strategy, is scheduled to end in May. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames.